Dear student, welcome to the part 3 of our lecture series of Vernal Flame Fian Method for Single Crystal Growth. So dear student, in this part, we will discuss about the processing steps involved in growing a single crystal using Vernal Flame Fian Method. Okay, dear student, please note that we will explain the single crystal growth of synthetic gemstones step by step using vernal uh, furnace. And we will explain the vernal furnace and all the internal setup which is involved in uh, vernal furnace by a schematic diagram. So now just to let explain vernal flame for your method for single crystal growth with a schematic diagram. This is an internal overview, a schematic representation of internal overview of vernal furnace. Inside the vernal furnace, there is a stand on which a single crystal substrate is usually fixed. Dear student, please note that the this at temperature of this area is less than the temperature of the rest of the vernal furnace and the stand is has on which this, this substrate is fixed basically have two properties like the stand is has a rotational rod in it, in, uh, in it and due to which the stand can be rotated so when the stand is rotated automatically the surface of uh, automatically the substrate is rotated okay along the 360 angle so due to the rotation of the substrate if the film uh, usually the, the material uh, so, uh, or gemstone which is deposited on this uh, substrate or is, which is basically a seed material will basically uh, deposit uniformly and also distant please note that this rod uh, is also connected with a setup which is basically moved downward okay so it is basically connected with a pulling setup which basically moves the rod downward and in this way the, the gemstone the synthetic gemstone in form of single crystal are grown upward in a large amount scale okay so dear student the role of the rod is very important in the vernal furnace because it's of its rotation uniform uh, uniform synthetic uh, single crystalline material is deposited on this seed and also due to the pulling of this rod basically the large amount of the synthetic single crystals is prepared okay and also dear student the role of the substrate is or a seed material is also very important because seed act as a direction directional uh, type of material so it's basically direct the deposited material to grow in a certain direction and orientation so basically in vernal method or any single crystal growth method seed is a prototype uh, which is used have a certain orientation and direction okay and uh, and the, the deposited material will basically uh, arrange itself and direct itself according to the direction of the seed so seed basically direct the deposited material to grow along its orientation and direction Distant, please note that the purity of seed is very important in vernal, uh, vernal uh, uh, flamphian method because if the seed is impure, there is a possibility that the deposited material uh, or deposited gemstone, gemstone, gemstone will have an impurity which will be incorporated through seed. So, both the purity of the seed plus the direction and orientation is very important for deposition of the uh, synthetic. Uh, single crystals the vernal funnel cons consists of a container okay the, the container is a part in which precursor material is incorporated so the dear student please note that the container part of the vernal furnace is also important the melting point of container must be higher than the temperature inside the furnace because if the melting point of the uh, the container which is used in vernal furnace is low 
then the vernal furnace uh, container will cause an impurity into the precursor material will be placed inside this container so the melting point of the container is con considered in vernal uh, fume furnace process this container is basically connected with a lid which is basically used to incorporate a precursor material inside this container okay so this is a kind of opening for the container dear student please note that vernal uh, method container is basically furnace container is basically connected with a kind of logs and these logs have a narrow uh, area from which only the precursor can be incorporated inside the furnace so the rest will be placed inside the container only small amount will be passed through this narrow region and the other part of the container will be blocked so basically small amount of the precursor will be fused and transported onto the substrate this make the, the narrow part basically make it easy for the process process to melt a small um, because of the small amount of precursor the small amount of the precursor melting is quite easy and can be easily transported onto the surface of the substrate this uh, vernal of uh, uh, and furnace basically consists of a oxyhydrated flame dear student please note that oxyhydrated flame this one play vital role in vernal flame fusion process because the melting point of gemstone which is in the powder form is placed in the container is quite high and only oxyhydrated flame usually operate about 2000 degrees centigrade can easily melt this powder okay so due to this crystallization become possible when the precursor material is melted and due to this oxyhydrated flame is used basically student please note that it was not possible if the oxyhydrated stem was not available at that time because the temperature of oxyhydrated flame is quite high and the melting point or melting temperature of the precursor material which is in the form of very fine powder of gemstone is also high so only this uh, basically oxyhydrated flame basically can cause the melting of the precursor materials so precursor material in the form of small very small powder uh, with very high purity is placed inside the container this is the precursor material with yellow kind of uh, circles okay so they are basically placed inside the container so since the whole of the container is narrow when the container is a uh, vibrated small amount of the this precursor material basically yellow precursor material is dipped and it's moved uh, below the container okay somewhere here so since the temperature of oxyhydrated flame is quite high it's, it's 2000 and even more than 2000 degrees centigrade this small amount of the precursor material or the small amount of very thin small powder of the gemstone will be converted and will be melted okay like this so this is basically a melted uh gemstone okay melted the powder and it is a melt, melted gemstone powder so when the gemstone is melted okay this melted gemstone in the vernal furnace is transported onto the surface of the seed okay so this melted uh, uh, material basically will arrange along the direction of this substrate okay since this substrate is single crystal so this will basically act as a seed and this melt will be transported onto the surface of substrate and we will get a single crystalline gemstone and this in this way basically uh, vernol obtained uh, single crystalline uh, ruby uh, crystals okay and the quality of that ruby crystal were far better than the available ruby crystals and the vernal was basically a first scientist who introduced a first ruby uh, single crystal okay so dear student please note that there are some interesting factor we need to consider in vernal flame fin process number one is the temperature of the flame oxyhydrated flame please note that the temperature of oxyhydrated flame must be according to the melting temperature of the of this precursor or the, the 
powder jam okay so it should be closer to the melting temperature of the uh, this precursor material if the oxidated flame uh, temperature is quite high than the than the uh, precursor material then there is a possibility to damage this precursor material and it can cause basically defects uh, in the single crystalline uh, synthetic material so both the temperature melting temperature of the uh, precursor material should be closer to the temperature of the uh, of the oxidated flame and if the temperature is closer to the of uh, to the temperature of the oxidated flame then the possibility of getting a very uh, good quality single crystal synthetic material is quite possible and we can get high quality of synthetic material another interesting fact to notice here is the, this narrow region of the uh, container okay the more with the narrow region of container it will be easy for the precursor material to melt and it will be easy to deposit very well textured and oriented uh, kind of uh, oriented oriented type of gemstone uh, another factor to notice here is the direction and orientation of seed so basically dear student please note that the direction or orientation of this seed must be according to desired requirement uh, like according to the gemstone which we want to prepare along according to direction of the gemstone which we want to prepare so the direction of orientation of seed is also a very important parameter in vernal uh, flamphian method secondly the purity of the the seed is also very important because if the seed is not pure there is a possibility of incorporation of in incorporation of impurity and synthetically prepared single crystal another important factor to notice here is the rotation and pulling of the rod which is present inside the vernal furnace so the rotation and pulling basically are playing very important and key role in vernal flame uh, flame flame process because if the rod is not rotation then the rotate rotating then there is a possibility of non uniform deposition of this uh, melted uh, precursor material and there will be a non uniform in the deposited synthetic crystal so for this rotation is very important and in term of getting more and large amount of uh, synthetic material it is very important to the for the rod to have a pulling system so in this way we can get large scale single crystalline materials okay so but just when please note that there are some drawbacks in vernal flame fan process please note that the vernal flame fan process is good in term of quality and it is better than the zaborowski and uh, horizontal and vertical bridgeman processes but the drawback with vernal flame fan process is that it's operate above 2000 degrees centigrade so which is a very high temperature okay and it so it's become very difficult to prepare a single crystal materials which are commonly used in semiconductor industry like silicon germanium etc to prepare with vernal flame fan process because the operating temperature of vernal flame fan process is quite high due to this drawback zaborowski and horizontal and vertical bridgeman methods were introduced to produce uh, semiconductors uh, at low temperatures okay so though this though the vernal flame fan method is better in quality but they it's this process is not accessible at low temperature and it is more suitable for a gemstones which have uh, have a high melting temperature so thank you dear students for watching part 3 of lecture series of vernal flame method for single crystal growth